So I did this um, tonight or yesterday, and I videotaped a little bit of it. Um, this is to the guys. Um, I'm speaking to the guys at uh, Microsoft having this all space VR. I'm pretty sure that this is the deal that all space VR was doing really poorly. And um, Microsoft, the way that Microsoft is, they see a great company or what they think is a great company and they say, we will support it. But the thing that the people are, that have Microsoft support, what they have to be asking themselves is, how are we going to make money for Microsoft? Because that's all. That's the only reason Microsoft is involved in anything these days, is if they have the chance to make money off of it. Unless, unless, and this is, this is, you know, I don't know if this is even possible for Microsoft to have this capacity. Are they coming into? Are they like becoming the rhino of the three, of the um, of the computer industry? Has Microsoft become the rhino, like Rhino Records is in the music industry? Are they like Rhino in the in the software industry? That is, are they coming in, getting the content, and representing it so as to somehow um, give it longevity? You know. Is that what they're doing these days? Are they no longer the kind of company that went and and raped and pillaged every um, every economy of of software development? You know, because that's what Microsoft did in the past. You know, this is the reason why it's really hard to trust them is that you just get this feeling that they're going to. They were going to manipulate and then they're going to turn it on you. And they're going to take on your space. And if there's anything to be made out of your space, they're going to take it out of that. And, and there's nothing that's going to be left of any soundness. You know, that's the scary thing about Microsoft is that, um, is that you know what they've done in the past and if they can do it again, you know. How good are they? You can't, I can't trust Microsoft. You know, I know what they've done in the past and it, it, there's a lot of unforgivable stuff, even to Bill Gates. And it doesn't matter how much he's involved in AIDS research, you know, and throwing money at the African community, you know, the philanthropy of it doesn't satisfy me, you know, because... Because the way Bill Gates has been bred from the time he was born, what you hear of it is that his parents always presented challenges to him, and would, um, and uh, his success relied upon um, his the perception that his, that his parents had of him. You know, that, that he's relied on other people to, to, on other people's perception of him to satisfy himself. And uh, if that were not the case, he probably wouldn't have been involved with AIDS in, in Africa. You know, it's just like, um, it just feels like it was constructed, like it was made up from the beginning. I'm falling asleep. I'm going to do this video again. I'm publishing every single one of these videos. Even if I pick my nose or scratch my ass or fart or if I'm not even presentable, if I'm wearing uh, uh, what are called uh, um, this is uh, underwear. It's, I'm trying to recall what it's called. Um, long underwear. I don't care if I'm in long underwear on, on TV and picking my nose and, and farting. You know, there's nothing you're going to be able to do to hide from this medium. So the only thing you can really be whenever you're on VR is to be 100% wherever you are. And pre 
present that because that is going to have the capacity to say that this was not a manipulation, that is complete truth. And that's the advantage that uh, working in front of the VR is going to present is that it's more true than, than uh, any other kind of medium. And if something comes about inside of the VR medium that evades um, description in the other medium, um, that's the, what's going to do really well. And that's the stuff that should get pushed. That's how I'm falling asleep. I'm going to stop it here and I'm going to start it again. I'm, try, I'm, I'm really trying to pull up, put a hole in one with this. Um, it's really like I'm playing I'm playing a real game of golf at a putt putt golf tournament, you know. I'm trying to over don't try to overthink what needs to be presented in a VR medium. Um then what exists and I don't want to be surprised by the medium anymore. I want to surprise other people with the medium. I want to to manipulate it. I want to use it to to my ends. And so does everybody else. But uh Okay, I'm gonna stop this video here and I'm gonna do a new one.